I'm, I'm so always sorry. happy to see you look gorgeous as always. Oh, I'm so Stunning. And uh, I, I backstage, I gotta say, I got to see the, I wanna call them the kids. Yes. The twins, they're still kids, right? Of course they're kids. They're 11 years old. How old? Yeah. They're... They can't drink for another 10 years. No, nah, that's true. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Rock and Ro, uh, yes. they're actually there. There they are on the side of the side. Hey, Rock and Ro. They are so cute. Are you cute? <laughs> yes. Rock said to me, I go, I go, what do, you, what do you think of the beard? He goes, I like it. He goes, I like that with the suit. And uh, Ro was like, uh, I go, what do you think? And uh, uh, she goes, it's not bad. <laughs> So I'll take that as a win. It's a compliment. Is it though? Well, I'm hoping so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're very sweet. I've known them since they were baby they babies. They were baby babies. They're so yes, cute. I am. Um, uh, Millie Bobby Brown was on our show a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago, and she was telling us uh, that you guys actually are friends and like you're a mentor to her. She also teased that there there may be a musical collaboration in the works. Did she now? Just saying, and no, maybe uh, you can't. Maybe it's not just musical. I don't know. I can't say what it is. I don't know. Wow. All right, that's a good scoop. I'll take that. I won't press anymore. Yeah. yeah no, no, no. Uh, they're, 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 it's, it's, it's fun things. Uh, Millie, Millie did an impression of, of what it's like to have dinner at Mariah Carey's oh, house. Oh dear. Okay. Let's take a look at this. She's good at impressions. I go over to her house and I'll be like eating dinner, and she'll come around and she'll be like, hoo, hoo, hoo. I'll be like, no, for real. No, it's a real thing. It's not like people are like, yeah, she does it. No, 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 no. She does it when we're eating Chinese food. Wait, what? It's wild. <laughs> not lying. <laughs> Wait, so. Not lying. So you just be having Chinese food and you just go into the high. I can't define which type of food it is. We're not allowed to do that anymore. No, I don't know true, what type yeah. of food it was. Yes, you're right. You're we're right, having yeah. morsels. Yes, you're having and food, but you will break into, you will No, break... not really. I mean, sort of. I mean, it depends on the moment. Right now, I'm just like two days of Volca Rest ready to yeah. get back and get moving with some other projects uh, happening. By the way, you had a giant yeah. summer, by the way. Yes, a it was. Big nice. Energy remix yes. with uh, DJ Khaled and Lotto. Lotto, yeah. That was a giant. That, that was, that did, that was. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you're also inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. One of my fellow collaborators right there. Yeah. James James. What does that uh, what does that what does that night mean to you? I'll just I'll just give this little bit bit of info. So there's there's been we've had some memes, mm. and um, one of the more one of the ones I see quite a bit is me going as a songwriter as a songwriter. As a songwriter, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting there because yeah. most people don't give me the credit that I feel after writing 18 number one singles. Yeah. Well, I would say 19. <laughs> I, I mean, I would come say on. not. Is that the slow clap beginning? No, I was gonna stand right, up. Right. I was ready to stand up for you. I, no, no, I am. Oh, we well, you no, know. No, uh, respect. I love it. Please and thank you. But no, no. The truth is, people will, will ask about. Oh, the. Now they're saying, oh, tell us about your process and this and that. And it's not about awards, really. That, that night meant a lot because it was, it, was, it was validating. But it was also like, as a woman starting out so young in this industry, most people are given songs and given, like, here's how you're going to do this, and this is what you should do. And yep. that was the one thing I said in my contract when I was really had to have, like, my mom had to be there. I was too young to even sign the thing on my own. And I was like, the one thing I will insist on it was contract but anyway I the one thing I insisted on, I was like you cannot make me do other people's songs like that's the one thing like I, I at least have to have that input so oh. that's where I talked to Millie about stuff that's kind of what she meant I think about yeah. a mentor and I got it like, like don't give it away if you don't have to yeah good and good for you and you're <laughs> trailblazing uh, I do want to talk about this thing that was just announced. Uh, you kind of, uh, Christmas came early to all of us when you announced Merry Christmas to all Christmas concerts uh, at Madison Square Garden. You just added a second show, by the way. Yes, what is, what's a, what, what, what can we expect from, from this? From... Expect the unexpected. I don't know, darling. Really? We're putting, no, really, because it was a, well, we went on sale with the pre-sale, right? Yeah. And then that happened, like, that was a quick, moment I heard. Oh, definitely. I don't follow these, like, statistics. Time is irrelevant to me. I, I don't acknowledge it. Okay. That's why even in my book, yeah. this book, there's no page numbers. Somebody had to point that out to me yesterday. I was like, oh, yeah. Well, because I don't care. Because <laughs> it's all the same. It should all just be the same. Yeah, okay, Not yeah, okay. Why? Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, so, so I realized that the best thing I could do is just talk to the fans, be with the fans, sing to the fans with them, and it's an inclusive experience. It's so fun. The last time we did Madison Square Garden, 
was pre-COVID, 2019. Yeah. The most fun I ever had doing a, sh a show because it snows. I'm, I don't want to give it away. I don't want to give it away. Oh, yeah, 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 but yeah. It's, it's festive, and we may or may not be seeing it on a network slash streaming service as oh! well. Oh! Dropping all the Maybe. nice scoop tonight. Thank you for that. Well, I don't know if it's a scoop or not. They better yeah. scoop me the information so I can <laughs> get it all scooped and smooth. But that's kind of what's perfect about yeah. getting into the book. It's all about love, and it's about the love of Christmas and the love of the song and the love that's in her song. And bringing people together, really, was yeah. the thing. Because be, what I really said in this is that it's not just about, because her name is Mariah and she's little Mariah, la la la, I'm, I'm so Christmassy, whatever. Yeah. It's not that. It's that this is for anyone who's ever felt othered, who's ever felt different than other people, who's ever felt ostracized. You know what I mean? It's like maybe you don't feel like you're, and I, not to throw out the vocab words because they always throw it at me. <laughs> But, Good. No, but it really is. And so, at the end of the day, it's not a magical prince that comes and saves her day. It's the music, but she gets through her own struggles and her own stuff. And ultimately, in, in my opinion, this is, is, is you know, it's a, the adventures of Little Mariah. She represents all people. Little boys, little girls, yeah. little ev whoever. Everybody that needs She's that cute. inspiration. And it's She's fun so and festive. She's it's, so And her cute. hair is a little bit unkempt. Yeah, you know? she's She's cute. not perfect. She doesn't get a makeover. Could I ask you maybe do a, a little reading from the book? Would that be okay? I mean, if you'd like. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't giving a, oh, look at this. Yeah, are, are you this kidding me? This is gonna me? be my new favorite cup at home. Oh my gosh, I would love that, please. I'm not gonna tell you who else's cup is there. Don't tell me, please. All right. Don't ruin the dream for me, please. Oh, stop that. Stop that. <laughs> darling, darling. Darling. Darling, so... where would you like to uh, begin? I will, okay, so we'll start here. In the middle of the rundown dwelling was an unsteady flight of wooden stairs with rickety rails. Little Mariah had to watch where she stepped and had to beware of pesky little nails. Popping up out of nowhere, snagging her stockings, prickling her pinky toe, then snickering when they were done. Pesky snickering nails in the stairs with rickety rails really was no fun. One brilliant spot inside the dank, shaky shack was an old golden brown upright piano, elegant, solid, and bright, whose black and white keys held all the hopes and possibilities of music, joy, and light. Sitting on the bench, humming a marvelous melody written in her mind, was the one place in the world little Mariah felt she belonged and was all right. Then enters, this is just me editorializing, but it's true. Yes. Mike the Bird, who is one of our villains. He is a two-faced parrot, and he's really <laughs> nice when he's around certain people, but when he's mad, whatever. So when he's with little Mariah by herself, he goes like this. This is real from this this part. It's a fairy tale. This, this is a fairy tale, but this th I still have a scar from this parrot. That's just, that's serious. I'm not oh my kidding. gosh, you actually I, I really do. do. Okay, so he goes, Mariah. <laughs> <laughs> Time to brush the hair. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's real. That's how you read a book. Come on. Mariah Carey, we love you. The Christmas Princess is available now. We'll be right back with Marcus Mumford. Stick around. Hey, hey.